hi guys it's zoe and welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you how i installed this amazing gorgeous ali pearl wig this is how it came out in the end so if you want to see how i achieved this look then keep on watching um so as usual let's just get into the unboxing you get your usual headband it came with like i haven't opened this yet but i think it's a headscarf i don't know um, it comes with a elastic band. I don't usually attach these to my wigs, but, you know, in case you want that extra security, they're really good. I also got a wig cap, which is always great. Then I got a edge comb. Um, I literally love these. I always use them. And then it comes with, like, hair care tips, how to look after your wig and, like, a little bag for it. So the details on this unit is I got a medium cap size, 180 density and a 13 by 4 lace. And this is what it looked like in the packaging. Just taking her out. Now, the first thing I noticed about this wig, yeah, you know how it says 13 by 4? This is giving, like, 13 by 6. Like, there's so much part in space, it's ridiculous, which is amazing. Because like, usually with 13 by 4, like, it doesn't really allow for much parting. So, amazing on that hand. Now, so the colour of this is meant to be, like, a highlighted platinum. With, you know, just a 1B throughout the rest of the hair. Um, they did an amazing job on the highlights. They got it really, really light and blonde. But I did notice like a few little streaks of where the bleach or the colouring didn't take too well. Um, I did end up retouching this in a bit. But like once it's on my head, I didn't really notice it too much. But yeah, just in case you guys, you know, want to note that. It wasn't perfect, but you know, I can work with it. So this is what the knots look like. And oh my god, okay. I had the biggest, biggest mare with this. So I usually just use my jerome russell be blonde and 40 developer and i apply it to the back of the wig and you know this isn't anything out of the ordinary i left this on for like 35 minutes but for some reason the wig took the bleach so so well and so quickly which is good but bro when i tell you the knots were orange they were way too over processed and they were just looking ridiculous so i literally ran down to the road really quickly as you can see here's another close-up of how horrendous they looked um <laughs> i went down to the road quickly went to boots and just grabbed my nice and easy in number 83 black and i you know i didn't have anywhere to put the product so i just used a pack of paracetamol that i just ripped up and i took a little spoolie brush i didn't really record this properly because i had to concentrate but i took tiny tiny sections and just brushed it onto the hairline like it's mascara and you want to make sure that you don't get too close to the lace because that's gonna make the lace black now so i just did this throughout the whole front and washed it out and this is what it looked like as you can see it's a hundred thousand times better and you know no more orange lace because that was looking like a whole madness i tried to firm it but i couldn't it was looking ridiculous so yeah this is what she looks like before plucking as well it actually the hairline was amazing to be honest with you i didn't pluck too much um this is what it looked like once i've plucked straightened and styled everything and yeah i really i was obsessed it was giving what it needs to give now it's time for the install and as you guys can see if you're not new here um i moved locations i decided to film here because i've got a new vanity and it's just a lot easier to film here um but yeah in case you're wondering like where the hell are you zoe but yeah so i took the back of the lace i just tinted it with my nw58 mac powder as usual you know the routine just literally the front and i went back in a little bit more after just to really make sure that the product was deposited on the lace because it was still looking a little bit light here i'm not gonna lie to you yeah this is what it looked like and as you can tell the color is giving like guys and those little bands where the color wasn't as you know good you can't really notice it as much when it's on the head so that's always a good thing i did go over them a little bit with um the black dye just a tiny bit just to brush it and make it blend a little bit more but yeah this is what it was looking like here i'm just making sure that everything fit properly before i grabbed my scissors and my eyebrow razor and i just started cutting at the lace um, but yeah, while I'm cutting this lace, um, I've never ever like had over processed hair before as in like um, when I bleached the knots. So this was definitely new to me. Um, I was browsing the internet on what I could do. But yeah, you can use that same routine that I did with the with a black dye and the little spoolie brush. I've also like seen someone use a Sharpie before, which I didn't actually try. I should have 
like on the parting because it was a little bit too wide still but yeah just you know a little tip for you guys that might be going through the same as well so definitely be careful and use a lower developer if you're doing this you know for the first time or just in general to be honest with you so yeah as you can see back to the tutorial i am just cutting the lace around my ears everything fit really really well i'm really happy about that it wasn't like hanging above my hairline or anything so i'm really really happy um about the shape of the lace as well for my glue i'm using my got to be gel and hairspray and i'm just you know gluing down the wig underneath the lace i've seen people use this new hairspray on tiktok it's called like bedhead hard head hairspray instead of like you know the yellow got to be so i'm definitely gonna get that you know and use that in the next video because people are saying it's a hundred times better so if you guys are looking for like a new product to lay your wigs with check that out but yeah anyways i'm just drying the hair making sure it's all secure and just doing this all the way around you know the vibes once i've got everything glued down i'm just separating off my sideburns um, I love a good little sideburn baby hair moment and I'm just going to go ahead and part the rest of the baby hair. So like I always say, sort of go from the mid brow to like, yeah, like the arch of the brow. I don't know how to explain it. The first third to the last third. I don't know if that made sense, but you can see what I'm doing here. So you just want to part off little sections all the way round. And I'm just grabbing my hair straighteners because as you can see, like they kept trying to curl up and just move into the rest of the hair because the hair is super silky as well. So it was just not cooperating with where I wanted it to lay. So the straighteners helped, you know, keep everything separated for me. Then I'm grabbing my eyebrow razor. I'm just chopping off the excess baby hairs. And then here I'm just going in with my hair straighteners again and just curling the baby hairs upwards. I wanted to try this technique because I've seen everyone do it. So I just wanted to see if it made a difference. I think I've done this before. I don't know why I'm talking like I've never done it before. But yeah, I just wanted to try something different today. To lay everything down, I'm just grabbing my Got To Be Gel and I'm grabbing my Olive Oil ORS hair mousse. And just mixing it on the back of my hand and laying the baby hairs so for this i'm just using the little comb that came with the wig i don't think it's the exact one because i've got quite a few of these but they're so amazing i just use the brush side at first and then i go in with the opposite side which is the comb area and just you know define anything if need be but we're just going with a swoop and then just use your finger to follow along the area that you've just brushed and this just helps everything lay a bit flatter. Once I've done this, I'm grabbing my hot comb and just combing everything back. I did most of the styling off the wig, so, you know, I didn't really have to do too much of the hot comb at all. Next, grabbing my edge band thing, whatever. I, do, I still don't know what to call this. But I'm using this and wrapping it super, super tight around my head. And I left this on for about 15 minutes, I want to say. Like 15 minutes. This just helps everything settle down underneath it. And it just helps the lace to stay down as well. So it's very, very important. I use it at night as well when I'm, you know, going to sleep with my wigs on. And it just helps prevent everything from lifting. Grab my straighteners again and just, you know, did a little run through of the hair. It was already pretty straight, but I just wanted it to be, you know, extra, extra, extra sleek. <laughs> Once I've let my edges sit for 15 minutes, I take the edge band off. And as you can see, this is what she was looking like. Amazing, amazing lace. I love it. I'm grabbing my hot comb again. I'm just flattening the top a little bit. Again, we need that extra sleekness. We're going for bone straight today, guys. All right? All right. Now, as you can see, the pattern is looking a little bit crazy. Um, I just grabbed some black eyeshadow. I'm just putting that in the part just to close it in a little bit. And then I grabbed some of my skin tone as well and just ran it through the middle. But yeah, this is what it looked like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you think. Take care, guys. Bye.